All right. Hello there, nerd fighters. It's me, Owl, once again. Um, filming a quick intro for this, this episode of the vlog, uh, Cooking Safely with Awesome. So, um, some of you may have felt a little bit jipped because of my last shout out that I did from the server room here at work. It didn't turn out all that bright, and you really couldn't see much. And so, so for some of you who might have been interested in seeing an actual server room, um, you may have felt a little jipped. So, so I'll give you a quick tour, and you'll see where I work. There's our little kitchenette area. And we'll wander on down the hall. Boss's office. Yes, nice view of the city from the windows. Whiteboard is currently clear so I can show it to you, not having to worry about showing anything off. There, big screen TV. Well, actually it's a big screen monitor, sometimes used as a TV, but mostly that's for doing presentations to clients. Um, over here we have the developer's room. There's the printer that was causing so much electrical problems. And the developer's desks. There we go. And moving back out into the hall. That's the other door to the developer's room, but you've already seen that. And here's my office. You can see from the clutter and from the, the multiple PCs. And the generic mess shows that I left in a hurry on Friday and didn't clean up. Pictures of the family. Because, you know, when you're working and stuff, you can never lose sight of who it is and why you're doing all this. And then, of course, there's the, uh, the Harry Potter calendar. You know, what geek's office would be complete without the Harry Potter calendar? And a moment of showing off. A graduate Roy. An owl graduating from college. And now, now for the moment we've all maybe been waiting for, the server room. So here we have servers. This is just the office, so we don't have all of the client servers here. This is just ours for our work. There's a big one at the bottom is a firewall, and the rest are just servers and a spaghetti mash of wiring. Because you can't have servers without the spaghetti wiring. And of course, again, yet another awesome view of the city, which you can't see right now because it's snowing and visibility doesn't let you see past the river. All right, well, nerd fighters, as you may notice, I'm not in my kitchen at the moment. I was in my kitchen this afternoon. I was taping the, uh, the bits that I had planned for this week, but unfortunately, it turns out some of my own knives need to see a professional sharpener. This piece, too, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I'm going to cut that out of the video because that is uh, disgusting. And I'm going to chop or hack on the shreds. So there's really not much I could do with what I had planned this week. However, as an alternative, not to let you guys down, there still is the episode. This, this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time to answer some of the questions that have come up in comments and in emails since the last episode, and possibly cover a few things that I really kind of wanted to cover in the last one, but I ran out of time. So, on to the questions. Um, first of all, the first of many asks, if you could afford only one good knife, which would you start with? Well, uh, if I could only afford one good quality kitchen knife, it would probably be the chef's knife that we covered in the last episode. Mainly because it is a very general purpose knife. It's used for a lot of different chores, whereas any of the other ones get a little kind of, kind of a little more specialized and would, ha would have less use. Sunfire1051 asks me, why don't you ever put a knife in the dishwasher? Well, that's a good question, and one that I intended to go into in more detail during the episode. But again, YouTube has its 10-minute limit. Um, there are a couple of reasons why you wouldn't want to put one of your good knives in the dishwasher. One of them, of course, is a matter of safety. 
The water jets will push it around some. It may end up lodged in some obscure corner where it's hard to see. And you might not see it. Cut yourself on it. It could damage the inside of your, your, your machine. Or it could get lodged in some place where you're just not going to get it out without, without cutting yourself. So that's one of the reasons. Another good reason for it is that the, end of, the edge of your blades are tempered steel. And that means that it's been compressed and compressed and compressed to make it a good, hard carbon edge, which can easily be sharpened and hold a good, sharp edge. Problem is, in the heat of the dishwasher, the metal will expand and then contract when it cools, and expand when it heats, contract when it cools, and after a short time, your blades become dull, and they won't hold a sharp, a sharpened edge for very long. So you'll need to replace your knives altogether a lot sooner if you put them through the dishwasher. Another reason, a third good reason, is that the dishwashing detergents are really too harsh on those blades. Another thing that we didn't get around to covering last week, I debated as whether or not to cover it, because it really seems so basic and so obvious, but I think it's worth covering it anyway. And, the, and that is a simple question, a quiz to you nerd fighters. What is the safest way to catch a falling blade? Well, the answer to that is, you don't. There is no safe way to catch a blade that has fallen off your counter. Step back, let it hit the ground, and then pick it up. Now, this seems really obvious, and, and I'm not trying to insult any, anyone's intelligence by asking it. I ask it so, it's, so that it puts it in your mind. Because instinct, when you see something falling out of the corner of your eye, instinct tries to grab it. I've seen this kind of instinct result in some very tragic instances. I worked with a chef who, by instinct, tried to grab a, a, a carving knife as it fell off the counter. He lost his job, he gained about 13 stitches in his hand, and very nearly lost his thumb. So, and, uh, in fact, he, he told me afterwards that the use of the thumb was never quite the same afterwards. He probably severed some nerve endings. It's not a very pleasant thing, and these knives are serious. So, your best bet, bear in mind, if it falls, let it. All right, well, I thank you for your comments and for, for reviewing. It's really, it's really, uh, it's very jokes of you all, and um, I hope this is, uh, is, is at least interesting and informative for you all. Um, keep the comments coming, keep the questions coming. Uh, there's many ways to get in touch with me, as you all know. Uh, but that's really about all I've, I've got for this week. Um, all of you nerd fighters, don't forget to be awesome, and um, I'll, uh, I'll get those knives sharpened, and we'll have an actual episode next week. So, um, until then.